Hi, my name is Byron Martin at Logies, and today we're going to be talking about putting our fig to bed. And this is a variety called Chicago Hardy, which has been here for almost 20 years. Chicago Hardy is a very vigorous fig, and as you can see, plant has put out a tremendous amount of growth during the summertime. It's quite a beautiful specimen in itself. Not only does it produce fruit, but it also is a great accent plant for the garden. As you can see, it gets to be a fairly big plant. When we came out of springtime, the plant was only at four and a half, five feet tall. So it's almost doubled in its size in one year. It is actually um, a good fig for growing outside, although all figs that we grow actually need protection. This perhaps has a little more hardiness than other varieties, but it's not something that you can simply grow in your garden without protection, at least here in Connecticut. The idea of it is to cover the stem so that it doesn't freeze hard. And there's several ways of doing this. This is the wrapping method. So you can see the growth here. All of this is uh, last year's growth, even that one sucker coming out of the ground, which is probably eight feet tall. All this is new shoots, and you can see the old cuts right here where over the years we've been pruning this back. And so the first thing we've got to do is start removing some of these limbs, which actually, as big as it is right now, is going to be a bit of a chore. And you can also see the um, figs from this year. These are the ones that actually didn't ripen because they didn't have enough warmth during the summertime. And that is the problem with growing figs here in Connecticut in that we don't have the degree days to ripen them fully. So we get about half a crop here. This year was probably good because we had warmer temperatures. If you are planting this somewhere in your property, put it up against a south wall. Now this is an east wall up against the greenhouse. Not bad, but a south wall where you can actually get that heat of summer sun coming in on them and really baking them will help ripen the figs earlier. So in a better spot, we probably would get better harvests off this. So we need to prune off the new growth. So it's simply a matter of getting in here and removing them. And you don't need to really worry about too much where you're cutting. There's lots, I can see some buds right here. There's lots of buds along this stem that will actually break in the springtime to create the fruiting limbs again. All right, so there we have it. And it is left at probably about four and a half feet. Makes it a little bit easier for us to uh, get the wrap around it. You want enough of this trunk here left so that you can get like we showed you the, the beginning, those large whips coming off, because those are the ones that actually fruit the best. Those big, vigorous, heavy um, leads that jump off rather than these small ones, you won't get fruit off of these. You have to have that um, bigger caliber shoots. Normally what we do is we would tie this up to bring it together. We take a cord. If your tree or your fig shrub, as we could call it, is really spread out with a lot of limbs, particularly small ones, you can tie this around and pull it really tight like that so that you're not, you're, all your limbs are together and are covered by the insulation. There's a lot of flexibility in these stems. You can't break them off. I mean, you could just take them from down here and pull them right up and they won't snap. There's a lot of give to them. So the next thing we need to do is deal with the mice a tea of capsicum or hot pepper. And we've been doing this for a number of years now, ever since our tree got so badly girdled. And they haven't touched it since, and you can't really blame them. And what this is, is you want to get it down near the base, because that's really where they're coming in and working. But what this is, is um, cayenne pepper. And it's, I make a tea out of it. I randomly chose a tablespoon to a quart. Soak it right up. You want to, when you make your tea, you want to add, um, dishwashing detergent to it so that it actually uh, spreads, you know, so you don't get any beading. Here we go. For the last few years we've done it, we haven't had any mice trouble at all. The next thing we need to do is wrap it with insulation. Uh, I could use a lot of things, but what we're going to use is these fiberglass insulation that we get at the hardware store. It's pretty effective stuff, actually, for taking care of them. When we do the wrap, we are going to go up around and around and around, and as we gradually go up, we're going to cover the stem with the insulation. Now I like to uh, 
you can use, probably use duct tape for this, but I like to take a piece of string and kind of tie off the fiberglass just to hold, have it hold itself in place while we're putting the plastic on it. And we're gonna tie that off, there we go. So now it's held in tight, we've got the top covered. Uh, you'll see in the springtime when you take this off, there's usually a bit of moisture in here. So uh, we try to keep it as dry as possible. And that's why the next thing we're gonna do is um, put some plastic around it. The idea is to protect your insulation uh, from moisture. We make it taller than what we need. We bring our bottom here off so it's sitting on the ground. So as you can see here, I've left the top and that's critical to not letting moisture in. And um, right now I could cut this off or we'll just, we'll just give it another wrap around. Here we go. So that's just about, just about right. Get this top here pulled over so that any moisture that comes through is actually going to be shed. There we go. We've got our, our shed, watershed here, our turn to the, keep the water off. The last thing we're going to do, because remember, we didn't go all the way to the bottom here. You can see all these, this growth of, um, of the young suckers coming out. We want to mulch that. And we're actually going to use some hay for that where you could use leaves, put it up around the base of it. This is probably not quite enough hay. We'll probably add a little more. Whenever you put mulch down like that, obviously it's going to settle quite a bit. So keep our eye on it. And the last thing we do is we put a pot over the top of it, like that, and we're done. And somewhere between now and Christmas, somebody's going to come out here and put some eyes on it and a smile and make a snowman out of it. Thanks for watching. If you'd like more information about our figs and wrapping figs, you can reach us at logies.com.